what their recommendation is for emergent situations called 911. And apart from that, uh, phone to determine which health center is open and they give the phone number. And I think that's it. Imagine walking up to an emergency room in urgent need of medical care only to realize the emergency room is closed. That's reality facing many Manitobans in rural communities, leaving many frustrated and worried. There's nine interruptions of the emergency department in April. Um, some of them run for a day, some of them run for two days, three days. Uh, we're concerned. The big question is, is, is where does it all end up? Christopher Ert, who's the Reeve of Norfolk Treehern in southwestern Manitoba, says right now, if people try to go to the hospital in the community and find it's closed, they'll be driving roughly 20 minutes to Notre Dame Hospital. But if that's also closed, they could be facing a more than hour drive to Portage La Prairie. For me personally, it makes me feel upset and, and angry, um, to be frank. Uh, I appreciate the situation. I, I appreciate that Prairie Mountain Health and the province are doing what they can with limited resources to to share the load and, and do that. But uh, not knowing the environment they work in, but, but I say that um, it, it makes me feel upset and, and angry closures in Manitoba have already resulted in at least one death. The most recent critical incident report from the province shows a patient died en route after the emergency department they presented at was closed. City News reached out to the Prairie Mountain Health Region for comment on the concerns brought forward by Reeve Ert, but a reply was not received by deadline. However, earlier this week, Shared Health said work is being done to address shortages, specifically in the field of nursing in the province, through new education spots, mentorship programs, and financial incentives. A statement said in part, we know there is more work to do to recruit new nurses into the system and to retain those nurses whose dedication and skills are so valued, but who have been heavily relied upon to support the increased demands of patients, residents, and clients during successive waves of COVID-19. Ert says he wants to continue to collaborate with officials with the health region and says rural communities need to be heard and consulted when closures are planned, saying right now at the local level, his community would like to see further bonus incentives for nurses and staff in rural communities, saying the issue needs to be addressed across the province. This um, emergency department shutdowns has has kind of occurred and, and, and it's been building up. And so um, we've just started to say, like, we, we need to see uh, what we can do as a municipality, municipal government to support Prairie Mountain Health. We would want to work collaboratively with Prairie Mountain Health to help them improve the service. I think Prairie Mountain Health is doing everything they can. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.